really a trick. Red shirt. It's really a trick. It's really a tribute to the uh, quality of the fighters and also the cooperation from their representatives, their promoters. Uh, the interest in the super flyweight division really has just taken off recently since HBO made the, the uh, vital decision of uh, putting Chocotito Gonzalez uh, on their network and uh, he really seems to open up the doors for this division for all these fighters on uh, on mainstream uh, network TV here in uh, in the U.S. Uh, without HBO's support, we we wouldn't be here today for this show, and uh, Chuck Petito wouldn't be at the stage of his career uh, without their support. And then all the all these fighters wouldn't have the platform uh, that they're getting right now uh, from HBO and frankly internationally. You see the international flavor of, of the show, and you see all the television cameras, you see all the, the media coming from Nicaragua, from Japan, from Thailand, from Mexico, obviously, it's just, uh, it's tremendous, uh, tremendous turnout. So we want to really thank everyone uh, involved with the show, all the fighters, um, you know, the fighters don't want to fight, you can't make fights, and, and uh, it's a tribute to the fighters, to the promoters, um, and everyone involved uh, with the show uh, to make this happen. Um, I just want to uh, start out. I want to start out by uh, recognizing. Uh, let's see. Recognize. Oh, first, I just want to make a few announcements about the show. Uh, the doors will open at four o'clock uh, at the SubHub Center. Uh, fans like to come out to uh, to do uh, uh, tailgating at the SubHub. It's famous for that, and I don't think we could have a better venue. We really fought hard to bring this show to the stub hub. There were some conflicts originally with the scheduling. Um, I said it has to be there because that's the natural home uh, for a type of fight like this under the open skies in Southern California. It's supposed to be 80 degrees in Carson uh, on Saturday, and so we're really looking for, forward to, to a great fight, a uh, great show. Um, tomorrow we have uh, the, the weigh-in, which will start at 12.30 and also a one o'clock for the HBO fighters on the scale. It's open to the public. We encourage all the fans to come down uh, to the weigh-in. It's gonna be at StubHub, so anyone that doesn't have a ticket can come down, they can see their fighters up close and purchase a ticket at the same time. So we expect to sell out. We're, we're very close right now. There are a few remaining categories uh, left, but uh, it'll be a, a tremendous atmosphere uh, and really a tribute to the popularity of, of all these fighters. Um, it's It's, very unique to have one show with one weight division with so many talented fighters. Um, not only all the HBO fighters, the undercard, uh, Brian Deloria is a fan favorite uh, on the undercard. So we, it's very uh, unusual for that. And, and uh, again, it's just a tribute to HBO and uh, to everyone involved with, with the show. Um, I'd like to uh, just acknowledge all the different promotions that uh, have been involved with the show. Uh, we have to give uh, Mr. Honda and uh, Tykin Promotions uh, a tremendous amount of credit for his cooperation. It, he leading the charge really for the lighter divisions. He's the promoter of uh, Chocotito Gonzalez. Um, I have to thank also uh, uh, Nicorlong uh, Promotions. Uh, they're the promoter of uh, Sorong Basai uh, Bank is uh, has a great representative of the promotions and uh, uh, with their cooperation we were able to make the first fight uh, in Madison Square Garden uh, March 18th and uh, once the WBC ordered the rematch because it was such a close fight the first time both sides wanted to prove that they're the true champion so we have to give them a lot of credit uh, for taking the rematch and that was really the, uh, the start of putting the show together once they agreed to the rematch and everything else uh, pretty much fell into place. Also have to thank uh, Ohashi Promotions uh, representing uh, Inoue. Uh, Inoue has become one of those uh, legends that uh, you know all of his punching power, you know, the fighter from Japan, the champion coming for the first time here uh, to the U.S. So uh, we're really happy that the uh, U.S. fans have a chance to see him live and all the HBO viewers have a chance to see them on HBO and, and actually on the international 
uh, telecast. Uh, Salida Promotions, uh, I've known Dimitri Salida for a long time. Um, his, uh, his cooperation in, in putting the, the fight together with uh, Antonio Nieves, there are not a lot of people that want to fight Inouye at this stage. I mean, Inouye has that reputation of uh, I just, I mean, his nickname is Monster, and uh, so we have to give uh, Dimitri a lot of credit and Antonio Nieves a lot of credit for uh, for taking that fight. Also, uh, longtime friends of mine, uh, Zanfer Pro Promotions, uh, Fernando Beltran, who represents uh, Estrada, and then also uh, my good friend uh, Oswaldo Picle from uh, Promociones del Pueblo. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, between Quadras and Estrada. This is the kind of the, the, the war of, of two Mexican warriors that uh, a lot of the local uh, fans are looking forward to. So that's really the, uh, the top to bottom of, uh, of the HBO fights. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ramifications. The winner of Quadras and Estrada is ordered by the WBC to fight the winner of Rungvisai and Chocotito. So there's so much talent on the show. I could really see uh, from these, uh, all these matchups, I wouldn't even say three great fights, I would say four great fights with the Brian Valori on the undercard. There's so much talent on the show that I can see these guys fighting two shows, three shows down the road just with different uh, different matchups. So with that being said, I also want to give uh, a big thanks to uh, Dan Beckerman of uh, AEG who uh, runs the uh, StubHub Center. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the natural venue for, uh, for this show. Um, I'd like to bring up at this time a longtime friend of mine, uh, works with HBO. Uh, he's intensely involved in the fight. Next week we have a, a, a fight also uh, next week from Las Vegas. This is uh, this is really this show here has really been uh, set to promote the Canelo Triple G fight. This is uh, will be uh, after this show on HBO. We'll have the 24/7 that's airing the second episode of Canelo Triple G. But it couldn't have been a better a better show a better platform than the show we put together so I'd say this is the best show uh, we've ever put together and the following week is the best fight that we've ever put together between Kyle and Triple G so uh, with that being said I'd like to bring up the uh, vice president of HBO sports sports Tony Walker thanks a lot Tom and uh Thank you all for coming out to uh, talk a little boxing today. We really appreciate the support uh, that the media in Los Angeles uh, gives to boxing. I think it's become the uh, boxing capital of the world. K2 and Tom and the whole team has got to be given a lot of credit. This is one of the best triple headers that I've ever seen. It is stock full of champions, warriors, fighters who have a lot to prove and a lot to gain. And most uh, fortunately for us fight fans, they will absolutely light each other up. This is the, uh, the essence of uh, what HBO Boxing After Dark has always wanted to be. Uh, Tom pointed out that uh, the, the fighters all come from all these international locations. And it just points out the appetite for boxing. Not only will there be a big crowd in, at the Stub Hub, but we expect a big audience on HBO because the appetite for good, big time boxing at a high level has never been greater. I, I don't want to forget to thank our friends at Stub Hub. This, fight, this place has become synonymous with all our brawls and great fights, and uh, we always have a great broadcast. Uh, they're very hospitable to us. The uh, telecast was started um, at 2.15 p.m. Eastern and Pacific time, and uh, <clears throat> all, you, all the customers who can get the HBO feed uh, on the East Coast will be able to see all the action at 7.15. So it's a great night. We're very proud to be here. And uh, we really want to thank the fighters for putting so much on the line and giving us the chance to enjoy watching the best fight the best. Uh, Tom mentioned 24-7, episode two of Canelo Triple G premiered right after live boxing. Uh, that show will look more at their training than the first fight did. Uh, from everything I've heard, it's getting pretty intense in the camps. These guys really know what's at stake here and are going to give a great, a very memorable show for all boxing fans. And uh, with that said about uh, Saturday night, I want to make an announcement for an event that HBO is hosting at Venice Beach tomorrow from noon till about 7 p.m. It's uh, called 24-7 Canelo Triple G, The Experience. Uh, it's going to be at Venice Beach at the Windward Plaza 
there's going to be giveaways, boxing demonstrations. Uh, in fact, I think there's going to be a few special prizes for all you media members who want to show up. Please tell your, your, your supporters, your customers, uh, it's going to be a great celebration of boxing, a lot of video. Uh, it's going to be displayed on monitors that we have there. It's going to be a very fun time, and it fits right in with the great boxing weekend we have in, in L.A. So uh, thanks for coming, and uh, we're pumped. See you guys. Thanks, Tony. Uh, now I'd like to introduce a representative uh, from the WBC who uh, is, is integrally involved in this show. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Rungasai versus uh, Chocotito is for the WBC Super Flyweight uh, Championship of the World, and Quadras versus Estrada is the official eliminator for the WBC uh, for the winner. For, so with that being said, I'd like to bring up uh, Pepe Suleiman. Thank you. Good morning to everyone. Uh, please forgive me. I'm a terrible improviser. Uh, one time I forgot the user's name. Last time uh, I froze when I come to say Estrada's uh, name, so I'm going to read what I wrote, okay? <laughs> I am extremely proud to represent the WBC in this, in this great event with the best promotion in many years. In times when one promoter wants the whole cake for himself, we are witnessing an exemplary effort with one of the most exciting cards in many, many years. I congratulate all, all promoters involved in this as an example to all how great things can be accomplished when working together. K2, taking promotions, Kohashi, Promociones del Pueblo, Sancho, they're all united to give boxing fans and the world this Superfly Heart. Thank you very much, HBO, for supporting this event with the lower divisions, which are all often ignored and in the and are the platform of boxing. Room Bisai, our champion and the toughest warrior. Chocolatito, one of the best pound for pound owners. Cuadras, a prince and an artist in the ring. Estrada, a most skilled and unstoppable opponent. You know it, the monster. He, you know, he was the first. Of, he was first on WBC champion, and uh, he's always, always welcome to, to, to come back uh, to the green belt if he desires. Nieves, he has the most important ingredient of all, which is uh, hunger, and of course we have the great uh, Brian Belogger with us. So there is too much at stake in each of the great fights. I wish all the fighters the best of luck. And this is certainly be the beginning of a great golden era in the lower divisions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pepe. I um, just want to acknowledge uh, a few other uh, people before we start with the principals here. Uh, the fighters are always the people, uh, the ones that the uh, fans are out here uh, to see. So let's go back up. Okay, there we go. I uh, want to acknowledge the California State Athletic Commission. Um, we've had a, a fantastic working relationship uh, with the California Commission. Uh, especially like to thank uh, Andy Foster, who's the executive director. Um, it's their primary focus to make sure uh, all the uh, combatants are licensed and uh, pass all their medicals. And uh, at the end of the day, the, the primary concern really for everyone involved is to make sure everyone uh, comes out safely on Saturday night. So we really want to acknowledge the uh, California Commission. Uh, we'd like to also acknowledge some of our sponsors. Our, our main sponsor is the Tecate. Uh, Chivas is a sponsor. Uh, Cafe Agave uh, is a cream liqueur. This is uh, actually the first event, first boxing event that uh, Cafe Agave uh, got involved in. We always love to see new sponsors getting involved in boxing because that's really what allows us to put on shows like this. Fred Loya, Fred Loya, Fred Loya. It's on. It's on. Okay, there we go. Never one on here for some reason. Uh, Fred Loya Insurance uh, is is also uh, a sponsor, and so is uh, uh, M150. It's an energy drink uh, with uh, Rungasai as uh, as his sponsor. So uh, we'd like to acknowledge uh, all the sponsors now. We'd like to get, uh, and, and we're just uh, setting up the uh, the belts here so everyone can see. 
championships that, uh, that both uh, Lungasai and Inoue are bringing into the ring. That's good. Um, there's a few other fighters who aren't on the uh, who aren't on the dais that I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, that are here. I'd like to acknowledge uh, George Acosta. George, where where are you? There he is. Here's George Harris in the uh, black hat. George is in. Uh, I gotta I gotta tell you, uh, he's a local fighter, but he sold a tremendous amount of tickets. George, come up here. Let's just bring him in. Quick, so you can see him. And I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Sinisa Estrada, another uh, local fan favorite. Another Sinisa also sounds a tremendous amount of tickets. So Sinisa, if you want to come up. These are two of the words that are going to be on the uh, camera. Uh, thank you. That's better. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> I was struggling the whole time with that microphone. Okay. Um, now I'd like to bring up actually a, a close friend of mine. We go back to the days of uh, Kevin Kelly and Junior Jones, two great warriors from the New York City area. Uh, they fought at Madison Square Garden uh, numerous times, and uh, um, he is representing uh, Brian Valoria. I can't say enough about uh, Brian's uh, heart and courage and everything that Brian's uh, accomplished in the ring. Brian still wants to prove that he's a world-class fighter, that he fits in here on the dais. He's sitting on the dais, and he wants to prove that he fits in still with all these champions and world-class fighters. Um, and, and that's why we have him as the first fight. Uh, on the international broadcast and right before the HBO telecast. I also want to point out um, that we're going to be showing, because we can't have this type of undercard without it being uh, uh, able to be viewed uh, at home uh, and actually uh, internationally. It'll be streamed on uh, ringtv.com and uh, that'll give uh, all the fans that aren't able to be live uh, at the show the ability to watch uh, these undercard uh, fighters uh, perform in the ring. So I'd like to acknowledge uh, Ring TV uh, for, for that. Um, so with that, I'd like to bring up a good friend of mine, uh, Gary Gittleson, who can then introduce uh, Brian Valori. Gary? Um, Brian has uh, become a very special uh, member of my family. Uh, we. Uh, we met at the 2000, right after the 2000 Olympics, and Brian was uh, one of the American uh, boxers in the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. He's had a marvelous career as a multi-world champion in two different divisions. Uh, it seems like forever I have been knocking at HBO's door in various executive regimes, and it wasn't until this very open-minded, group of executives uh, that we were able to really bring this, these lower level guys to HBO. I think what we're going to see Saturday night is the most explosive show in my memory. Uh, I think I've always felt that pound for pound and dollar for dollar, these guys give you the very, very best boxing ex exhibitions uh, and professional contests. That you'll ever see. So I know they're not going to let us down. And Brian has fought two of these very great world champions already. I know the kind of heart and talent they have, and uh, I, I just feel so privileged to have Brian be part of this show. I'm very grateful to Peter Nelson at HBO. I'm very grateful to Take and Promotions, uh, who has given Brian the opportunity to be here, and of course my good friend Tom Lawler, who is doing such a marvelous job, not only with the smaller ways, but with the, with the big show, probably the best show of the year, the Lock in and the So I want to introduce you to my favorite fighter, Brian <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for joining us at the press conference and uh, leading up to the fight on Saturday. 
Um, first of all, I also want to thank God for giving me the strength um, to be fighting at this level of competition through all these years. You know, I've been pro for 17 years and to still be able to be fighting amongst these world champions and these great fighters is an honor and it's a privilege um, to be doing that. I also want to thank my team, Team Valoria, uh, my manager, and also my pseudo father, who's been a great friend to me all these years, Gary Gibson, to uh, uh, Ruben Gomez, who's been there for me every single day, training uh, everyone at Wildcard, to Marvin Simorio and Freddie Roach, who helped me prepare for this fight, and uh, my backbone, also my wife, Erica Valoria, who's been the one whipping my team, uh, you know, in a shape every time they get out of line. <laughs> so I thank you guys for giving me the uh, uh, a chance to uh, prepare myself greatly for this fight. I also want to thank Tom Lofter and K2 Promotions, everyone there at the, uh, the office who, who put a great show together, um, taking promotions, uh, Mr. Honda and Akemi, who has given me this great opportunity to fight on the stage. Everyone at HBO, um, to finally, you know, give us smaller weight divisions a, ch uh, a chance to fight in front of the world and uh, giving us this opportunity and giving us this big stage to fight. Um, you know, just a couple weeks ago, uh, uh, I think a month ago, we had a, another press conference and everybody looked fat. You know, gordo, out of shape. <laughs> but now I see them and everyone's out of shape. Everyone looks skinny. And I think if they win today, everyone will make their weight. And that only tells me one thing that everybody's ready for Saturday, and that they're ready to give their best, their best foot um, to, to, to show their, 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 best, their best fight. And um, I believe this group of guys is gonna turn the world on to the lighter weight divisions. And um, you know, I've, I've fought a couple of these guys already and they, they're world-class caliber fighters. And uh, you know, these guys are gonna show their best and show their role and, and the fans are gonna be in for a great treat. I, for one, I know, I've trained really hard for this fight because I know the opportunities that it will present itself after this fight. And so I'm taking every fight seriously. And like uh, I know all these guys will, will be taking every, every uh, their fight seriously. And um, I just can't wait. You know, Saturday can come soon enough and uh, I'll be there. And hopefully, hopefully you guys will be there to witness this great card. And uh, I'll see you guys there. Thank you again, again. hello. Thanks for the compliment, Brian. I've been training with Triple G up in the mountains in Big Bear, so I appreciate that. Uh, uh, slimmer than the first press conference. Um, is this thing still? Hold up? Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Brian's much better. So, with that, I see Ben Lira in the back. I don't know, uh, Ben, is, um, is Rusan here? In the room? No, he's not here. I'd like also, before we get to the uh, HBO fighters, I'd like to also acknowledge uh, Rusan Madayev. He's going to be on the show. The reason why is because uh, he's trained by uh, Abel Sanchez, but the reason why I want to acknowledge him is he's in a very tough fight. Rusan's 9-0. He's undefeated with four knockouts, but he's fighting very difficult uh, Abdil Ramirez. He's 23-1 with 22 knockouts from Mexico. So that's a big step-up fight for, uh, for Rusan. He knows if he's going to be on a fight like this, and that's always been Abel's philosophy, is uh, you know kind of sink and swim, sink or swim. and, and uh, that's a fight that uh, really the fans shouldn't miss. That's going to be two fights before the, uh, the HBO fight. So that's why we really encourage fans to come early to see the guys like George Acosta, like Ruslan, like Sinisa. Also Nick Fraze, who's with uh, Team Rungbasai. Uh, he's from Thailand. He's going to be on the show as well. So it's, it's really from top to bottom. It's a great, it's a great show. Um, with that being said, I want to get into the, uh, the HBO fighters now. Uh, where, where, where do we start? Uh, the first uh, the first fight of the triple header is going to be between uh, Carlitos Cuadras, El Principe. There he is over there, and uh, and uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. I mean, these guys they they want to prove that they're deserving of another opportunity to fight for the WBC World Championship. So this is going to be a tremendous matchup. I think this is going to be a fan favorite, uh, kicking off the HBO telecast. Um, I'd like to introduce first with uh, with Estrada. I'd like to introduce uh, Juan Hernandez, who can say a few words about the promotion, and also introduce uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. Uh, Juan, are you are you here to come up? There, there's Juan. 
And also, again, uh, Estrado is with uh, is with uh, Fernando Beltran uh, with Zanford Promotions. So we really want to thank uh, Fernando and uh, Juan Carlos Torres for all their work in uh, putting this fight together. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, we want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, like Tom said, this is going to be uh, one of the biggest nights in boxing because we have pretty much the six top super flyweights in the world and on the same card. I think um, I am obviously biased because I represent Estrada, but I think on Saturday we're going to show that he's actually the top of the six. Um, we, we were super confident that he's going to beat Cuadras on Saturday. And then he's really looking forward to uh, either a rematch with Gonzalez if he wins, or fighting uh, the, uh, the Thai champion who did a great job by uh, being the one. I, uh, I want to take um, a quick moment to introduce our champion. We want to thank also Brian Viloria and Gary who gave us an opportunity when they fought in Macau. Um, and now I'll, I'll introduce the uh, the proud um, former champion from Puerto Peñasco, Juan Francisco Elgayo Estrada. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, very happy to be here. Appreciate the opportunity to fight on this great card. Uh, so many fighters, uh, great level fighters. And I'm looking forward to uh, making uh, Carlos Cuadras into a princess. And, uh, and I'm well prepared. Eh, agradecer a mi empresa Latin Sport eh, por, por la rara oportunidad que me están brindando también de, de entrar a HBO a, a esta gran cartelera ¿no? y eh, agradecer a toda la gente que me apoya eh, a todo México. Of course, I'd like to thank my uh, promotional company Latin Sports uh, to all the fans that have always supported me and looking forward to giving them a big fight. Y bueno, quiero Quiero ser campeón del mundo de nuevo y, y vamos paso a paso, ¿no? Eh, ojalá que, que, pues que gane Román González esta pelea para enfrentarlo, eh, que yo estoy seguro que voy a ganar este sábado y, y hacer una segunda pelea. I'm hoping that, of course, uh, Román wins on uh, Saturday, so that when I win, which I'm sure I will, then I have a second opportunity to face him. Es una pelea eh, eh, pues eliminatoria, campeonato del mundo eh, de cinturón que, que ostenta Rumbisay y, y pues estoy motivado para ganar y, y, y pues esperar a la oportunidad, ¿no? ya sea con Román o con Rumbisay. I know this is an elimination fight and looking forward to meeting the winner of the championship fight, uh, whoever that might be. Gracias. Thank you. Así le va a hacer el gallito este sábado. Gallito, gallito, de plumado. Bueno, quiero agradecer a a HBO, a K2 por esta oportunidad. Eh, a Taken Promotions que que siempre me ha apoyado el Mr. Honda. I want to thank uh, K2 Promotions, of course, uh, Taken Promotions, 
Mr. Honda, who's always uh, been behind me. Y, y quiero decirles que estoy muy contento que vengo preparado que voy a hacer la mejor actuación de, de, de toda mi carrera la verdad es que quiero recuperar ese cinturón I'm very well prepared this is the best uh, I felt before a fight and I'm looking forward to regaining my world title pretty soon y, pues quiero que sepan que, que vengo con todo para ganar esta pelea así que te vas a quedar cacaraqueando gallito, cacaraqueando nomás porque no creo que cantes como gallo te va a hacer bailar la, esa princesa que dices te va a hacer bailar papá pluma te va a quitar la, así te va a dejar I'm gonna unfeather you, leave you just like this chicken here uh, I'm very prepared to do that on Saturday night. Yeah, uh, but you remember me. I am strong. I am fast. I'm very, very handsome, baby. <laughs> He brings his fists and his props to the press conferences, so it's uh, it's always great to have uh, have him on the show. Gallagher, <laughs> look at the other side. You're all laughing. And uh, I mean, that's going to be. It's one thing talking at the press conference, but uh, I know their fists are going to be flying on Saturday night, so it's uh, we're wearing for a treat. And that's only the first fight. Normally, that would be a main event of a fight of a show like this, but that's only the first fight on the HBO telecast. And uh, as, as Carlos had mentioned, uh, we also want to acknowledge uh, Mr. Hyundai again and Taikin for, for their involvement in, uh, in Carlos's career and getting him to the point where he is uh, where he is now. So, with that being said, we'll get into the uh, the co-feature on the show. Um, uh, someone who I've known for a long time, Tim Van Newhouse, is the manager of uh, Ryan Martin. Uh, when we were having uh, some uh, difficulty getting an opponent for. Uh, for the monster, um, you know, Tim called me and said, uh, you know, they're working with uh, Antonio Nieves out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, Antonio is very hungry. Uh, he's got a tremendous record, and uh, he wants to take full advantage of being on the stage on HBO, on a tremendous show like this, fighting for the WBO World Championship. So, um, I'd like to acknowledge. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Dimitri Salida with uh, Salida uh, Promotions. Uh, without Dimitri's uh, help in putting this fight together, his cooperation, you know, it's one thing, you know, if you're going back and forth negotiating and you can tell if, if somebody really doesn't want to fight. If, if someone's easy to deal with, you know that their fighter and, and their team wants to fight. So I have to acknowledge Dimitri for, uh, for uh, really helping uh, to put this together. Um, with that, I'll bring up uh, Tim Van Newhouse to, to say a few words about Antonio, and then uh, he can introduce uh, Antonio. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tom, I want to give a big thanks to you and your great family, Thorsten, Erica, Bernie. You guys are all great to work with. Um, Yevis is a, a kid that I've known since he was 17 years old, and Every time he ever wanted to do something, he did it. He never let anybody down. He, he accomplished everything that people said that he couldn't accomplish. And when, when this kid started making noise, and there was a whole bunch of big, big noise about this kid, Joe Dell guy, his trainer, was already eyeing him up, studying him. And he would send me him all the time. I want this kid. If he comes to America, I want to fight him. So I already knew that Joe wanted to fight. It was gonna be very, very simple. And they've been studying this kid for a long time. And this is a very, very hungry kid. And he's gonna be in a dangerous fight. He's gonna be in a very dangerous fight. So with that being said, I hope all you guys are in, in attendance to witness this. This is a special kid I wanna welcome, the WBO top contender, Antonio Nieves. How you guys doing? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, thanks to uh, everybody that showed up today. Uh, also, want to say thanks to K2 Promotions, Tom Lauper, uh, Salida Promotions, uh, for getting me uh, this fight. Um, just like you said, um, just to, to like to everybody is counting me out, like I did when I started my career. Like I, like they counted me out with everything else I didn't like. 
and I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and overcome this. Um, he's a champ for, for a reason. He's a two-time world champion. Um, he obviously puts in the work, um, but like they said earlier, I'm hungry. I'm the new face in this division. I'm coming down from super uh, band weight. Um, everybody had uh, expectations about me making the weight. The weight came off easy. Um, I'm ready to go. Um, like I said, nothing but respect to him. Um, obviously, he's a champion, but I'm coming to fight. Um, I'm ready to do what I got to do to, to take that belt and keep it here in the United States. Um, I mean, I, not much to say. I'm ready to fight. I know he's ready to fight. Um, come Saturday, I know we're going to put on a show for everybody. But at the end of the night, um, I hope he's ready because I can, I'd rather die in there than uh, let that belt go back to Japan. Uh, me and my team are ready. We've been doing all the work that we have to do for him. And like I said, we've been eyeing this kid ever since uh, we, we heard about him. And, you know, we're ready to go. And uh, that's what we got to do. We're going to put in that work on Saturday. Thank you. You see the heart and passion that uh, Antonio brings <coughs> with him. And, uh, you know, you saw what uh, LeBron James did for the city of Cleveland. And uh, if Antonio can bring a world championship back to Cleveland, Ohio, that would be a huge statement for him. So I know uh, he's 100% prepared. He's, he's uh, going to take full advantage of this opportunity. And, uh, and it's a tremendous story of, of him uh, uh, getting into this fight. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to bring up uh, someone who's never fought in America before, who's never been on HBO before, but who's been talked about by the boxing media, the boxing fans, in huge anticipation uh, for seeing uh, Inouye uh, over here in, in the United States. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, his promoter, uh, Mr. Ohashi, who was, uh, who was uh, sees the value of, of bringing Inouye here to the United States, being on the HBO platform and being on a show like this. So I'd, I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, Mr. Ohashi uh, for his cooperation uh, with that. With that being said, uh, I'd like to, actually I want to present, we actually got a special gift from the Dodgers uh, in anticipation of uh, Inouye coming here to Los Angeles to fight. So they, they knew who uh, Inouye is and uh, they've got some tremendous uh, pitchers from Japan uh, on their staff so they wanted to uh, present uh, a special gift uh, to Inouye for, for being on the show here in Los Angeles. This is a special jersey, um, you can see it has a uh, Japanese uh, it's, also, it's also signed by Kenta Maeda, one of the, the premier Japanese athletes here in the United States. He's uh, one of the top pitchers for the Dodgers. And uh, Kenta wanted to personally autograph his, his signature. Wanted to personally autograph this to the anyway. So with that, I'd like to uh, present this. I know that's not his. It is. So then, uh, anyway, we'll say a few words, uh, and, uh, and Nobu will translate. Uh, uh, no, Nobu's okay. translate. First of all, I would like to thank all the people that were involved with allowing the fight in the United States for the first time. Uh, HBO, K2 Promotions, K2 Promotions, Mr. Ohashi, and Ohashi Promotions. I am very excited to be able to fight in front of the American audience. Uh, 
day after tomorrow, I'm going to do my life's best to put on a performance that will bring me back to fight here again. Thank you very much. Just like the Dodgers are one of the top teams in, in baseball right now, uh, in a way, is considered uh, one of the top pound for pound fighters already uh, in the sport of boxing. Uh, he only has uh, 13 fights, but he has 11 knockouts, and he's uh, really considered one of the biggest punchers uh, pound for pound in, in the sport. So we want to give a big welcome uh, to him from uh, coming all the way from uh, Yokohama, Japan. That's one of the things that a lot of people don't don't realize is when, when uh, fighters travel from so far away, from Thailand, from Japan, from Nicaragua, from Mexico, it, 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 it isn't used to, it's not the same like when they're fighting in their home country with their home fans and, and the support and the, the commissions that they're used to. This is a completely different experience for, uh, for Inouye and his team and just like it was uh, for Rungvisai when he fought in, in New York in Madison Square Garden. It's a, it's a huge opportunity, but it's also, you know, the jet lag, the different food, the hotels. There's a lot a lot that goes uh, into them coming uh, from so far away and being on this show. That's why we're so proud to have. This is really, when I was at the, uh, the media training yesterday, it was really like uh, uh, international, like the United Nations with uh, all the fighters, uh, all the media, all the fans. It just, uh, it, it's a tremendous uh, honor to put a show like this together. Um, when we have those two fights as the entree for the main event, I mean, the, the appetizer really for, for the main event, I have to say uh, it, it really turns out to, to be a tremendous show. Uh, next up, we'd like to uh, introduce someone that we work with for a number of different fights. Uh, he's become a fan favorite, not only on HBO, not only in America. He's a, he's a national hero in Nicaragua. And, uh, you know, he's following, uh, just, uh, he was universally considered the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport. When you can be a 112, 115 pound fighter and have that type of a distinction, uh, it's a tremendous, uh, just a tremendous statement for the accomplishments that he had uh, in the ring. Uh, I know, uh, Roman is hungry, he wants to get his title back. Um, he wants to show that what happened uh, March 18th in Madison Square Garden uh, it wasn't a performance that uh, he should have lost the title, so he wants to show that he is still uh, a champion. I know he's very hungry, he went back to Japan, he was training with Mr. Honda, and he's uh, extremely motivated uh, for this fight. So with that, I'd like to bring up a uh, good friend of ours who we've gotten to know well over the last couple of years since we've, we've been working with uh, Chocolatito. I'd like to bring up his manager, uh, Carlos Blondo. First and foremost, I want to thank God once again for having us here in this opportunity. HBO, taking promotions, K2 promotions, the WBC, everyone that showed up, all the media, all the fans that Roman has accumulated throughout the years, has, had it, has taken in here with the help of God. I want to thank everyone. I think this is going to be a great part on Saturday. Um, Roman and everyone that stands behind him are ready for war. We expect nothing less from Blooming Side. We want to thank him and, and his camp for uh, accepting the rematch. We know that uh, even if the WBC had ordered it, there's options. So uh, we, we want to acknowledge the champion. We want to acknowledge every of the other fighters that are here. They're going to make this definitely a super fly card. Um, we know it's the best of the division. We prepared for everything. And um, uh, coming uh, Saturday, we're going to be ready to give you guys a great show. Rowan is in excellent condition. It's a real blessing to be working with him. I just want to take my time to acknowledge uh, personally Kaicho, our grandmother Nagano-san, our mother Akemi, our brother Anobu, everyone from K2 it means so much for us to be here. Peter that has opened the doors for us and given us this great opportunity. Some of our new team members, Sendai Tanaka, 
to her trainer, Nakamura-san, her physical strength coach, Shin Muraki, assistant trainer, also uh, her designer, Hexor, Hector de la Cruz, awesome job, photographer, Vicente Los Santos, and everyone else that has been able to make this camp an awesome camp and has given us the opportunity to have Roman fight once again here. I want to thank God and I'll introduce you to our pound for pound champion, Roman Gonzalez. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Mauricio Sulaiman, the WBC, uh, Mr. Honda, Taken, everyone that uh, made this possible, and of course, Riggenside for giving me the opportunity uh, to fight for the title once again. Bueno, yo dependo de Dios, porque es el único que me tiene aquí de pie, que me ha dado la fortaleza y la bendición de estar nuevamente con cada uno de ustedes. I, of course, I, uh, I'm here because of God. It's given me the, uh, the blessings to be in front of you here today. He venido como en toda mi pelea en la mejor condición. Yo sé que va a ser una pelea, una pelea muy bonita como al público le gusta. Esperando en Dios que puedan disfrutar la pelea y que Dios me lo bendiga de nuevamente. Y pues, todas las cosas que he tenido se las he puesto en la mano de Dios. Bendiciones a todos. I come well prepared, uh, like I always do for all my fights. I hope to give you a wonderful fight, just like I try every time I get into the ring. And like everything, uh, I'm blessed by God for having this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Roman. You can see uh, how serious he is about getting his title back. Uh, it was a setback for him. Uh, as he mentioned, the WBC ordered it. The fans wanted to see it. And luckily, we were able to, to put it together for this Saturday night. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce the champion, the WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World. Um, Rungasai wants to show what happened March 18th in Madison Square Garden wasn't a fluke, that he is the true champion, and that's what makes you can see the hunger in these fighters. That's what makes this matchup such a tremendous matchup. And we really, as Carlos said, we have to give credit to both fighters to, of accepting uh, this rematch. Uh, the first fight was a very tough fight for both guys. And for them to go through their hard work, their training camp, to, to do it one more time, it's really a tribute to, to their honor and everything that they want to accomplish. With that, I'd like to bring up Bank, who can say a few words about their promotion and then introduce the champion, Rungasai. So, eight years ago, Sisuke saw Rungasai walk into our gym, Nakhalung promotion in Thailand. He had a boxing record back then of one win, three losses, one draw. And he was a full-time trash collector when he had to pick up food from trash to eat on difficult days. But from that day on, he decided to dedicate his whole life into boxing. From that day on, he decided to work day in, day out to be the best boxer he could be. And against all the odds, he became a great boxer. And eight years later, on March 18, 2017, he got the opportunity to fight against number one pound for pound, best boxer in the world, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. And he was given the odds of 1 to 14 or 1 to 20 to win the fight. But again, against all the odds, he won the fight and he became the champion of the world. So this is the man 
that never back down from any challenges. This is the man that consistently beats all the odds that are put against him. He is now a national hero of Thailand. And on Saturday night, he will have the whole nation of Thailand behind him. On Saturday night, people in the whole country of Thailand will be cheering for him, will be supporting him. So, for on, on Saturday night, he'll be fighting for something that's bigger than himself this time. So that's why he is more motivated than he has ever been. So on Saturday night, you see the faster, stronger, and better version of your WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sisake Sorun Wisai. It will be another fight of the year. It will be another great fight. We have to thank you, WBC, HBO, and K2 Promotion for this opportunity. So I would like to introduce to you your WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sisake Sorun Wisai. เอ่อขอบคุณนะครับเอ่อออกแล้วก็สวัสดีผู้สื่อข่าวทุกทุกคนแล้วก็แฟนบอลทุกท่านผมขอบคุณโรงงานกอสเลสที่เอ่อเอ